Supreme Master Ching Ai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit www.godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English with subtitles in Arabic, Aulasis, also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, Croatian, Czech, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Romanian, Russian, Spanish, and Thai. Ихэн үзэгчдээ чин сэтгэлийн минь төргий сэтгэл сэргэн Монгол улсын Дорногой аймгаас төгс та бүхэнтэй мэдчилж байна. Хөх тэнгэрийн орон гэгдэх Монгол улс нь хятад Орс хоёр устай хэллэн оршдог. Тус улс нь найрсаг зочлымтгай ард түмэн, онгон дагшин байгалийн баялаг, сүрлэг уул нуруд, уудам зэлгэр тал хэр, элсэн махнараа алдартай билээ. Зөвхөн энэ л урагдаг олон төрөл зүйлийн цэцэг урамл болон нэг ховор амтд нутгалдаг гайхамшигтай байгалийн тогтцоороо Монгол улс нь аялжуулчлахад тааламжтай дэлхийн хамгийн онгон дагшин газруудын нэг юм. Монголчуудын 50 гаруй хувь нь урц буюу гэр хэмээх том дугуй намхан суусанд аж төрөх нүдлийн амьдралын хэмайгийг эрхэмлэдэг. Тап хүнд Монгол улсын тухай товчхон танилцуулахад таатай байлаа. Дэвааж нь та бүхэнд хайр энерлийн хураа буулгах болтгой гэж монголчууд бид ирөөж байна. Бодол санаандаа эрэг байх нь хизээд хамгийн сайн лекцийн нэгдүгээр хэсгийг өнөөдөр та бүхэнтэй хуваалцах болно. Өөр бусад хэлний сонголтыг онлайнаар орж үзнэ үү. Өөрийн сонирхсон хэлийг доор хайгаар орж үзээрэй www.suprememastertv.com Ташуу зураас Subtitles Гуч гарын жилийн турш төгс гэгэрсэн их багчийн хаа ариун сургаалаа дараа даян дэлхийг гэрэлтүүлж байна. Төгс гэгэрсэн их багч тэрэр дотоодын бурхан чанараа нэн даруй олж мэдхийг хүсэж нэг нь насандаа өхөж төрхийн хүрднээс мөнхөд чөлөөлөгдхийг эрмэлзэгч хим бүхэнд арай балын бэсэлгэлийн аргыг уламжлдаг билээ. Буддаа Есүс Христ зүүнч Мухаммад тэрэр амгалан байг. Гүрүү нанах зэрэг бүхэл гэгэрсэн их багч нар арай балын аргаар бэсэлгэн дадуулж ирсэн байдаг. Тэр бээр хэрэв бид үргэлж бурханыг санаж бусдын төлөө өөрийгөө умартан үйлчилж орчлын ертөнцийн хуулийг дагаж явах хаваас хүний хурч болох хамгийн дээд төвшин төрч энэ дэлхий дээр их зорилгоо үнэхээр ухаарах болно хэмээн хэлсэн байдаг. Их багш чинхай бол хайр энерлийн хосгүй амьд үлгэр дуурайлал юм. Тэрээр дөрвөгсөд байгалийн гамшиг төртөгсөд орон гэргий болон туслам чирэгтэй хэм бүхэнд материалыг болон санхүүгийн туслал цаг хайрынхаа хамт ямагт илгээж байдаг билээ. 2006 онд тэрээр Дорн дахинд Нобелийн инх тайвны шагналд тооцогддог Гүсийн инх тайвны шагналыг хүртсэн бөгөөд хүмүүнлгийн болон бусдын сайн сайхны төлөөх гайхамшигтай ажил үйлсээрээ өнгөрсөн он жилүүдэд бусад олон шагнал өргөмжлүүдийг хүртэж байсан юм. Үзсэнд анд антитиман жинхэнэ дуу хоолой тэрээр хүн төрлөгтөн бүхэл амьд оршинлын ариун гэгэн чанарыг ухааран сэрснээр их дэлхийн маань хүн болоод амьдтад аз жаргалтай, эв зөвхөрлтэй аж төрөх амар тайван сүрж авлантай бүрэн веган дэлхий болно гэсэн ихтгэл найдвараар амар амгалан энэрэнгүй ургамлан хоолыг түгээн дэлгэрүүлж байдаг. Веган чиг хандлагыг дэлгэрүүлэх түүний санаачлаг олон төрөл байдгаас дурдвал өөрөөр амьдрах үе тарах хаудас. Хайрын өргөө олон улсын сүлжээ веган ресторан Supreme Master Televiz төдийгүй бидний мэдсэн эсхээс үл хамааран тэрээр өөр амьсгалын өөрчлөлтийн талаарх телевизийн конференцуудад оролцож нөлөө бүхий засгийн газрын болон хөвлөл мэдээллийн байгууллагуудын 
удирлагуудтай ойр ойрхон ярилцдаг билээ. Түүний энэ бүх хүчин чармайлт нь амтан дээлтэй амьдралын хэв маягийг төдийгүй энэхүү энэрэнгүй зам мөр нь гарэг дэлхийг цаг уурын өөрчлөлтөөс авраа зогсохгүй уус үндэснүүдийн дунд тогтвортой энх тайвныг хэрхэн авчирч чадахыг олон нийтэд ойлгуулахад асар их нөлөө үзүүлсэн байдаг. Төгс гэгэрсэн их багш жанха олон жилийн турш дэлхий даяар Америкас, Африк хүртэл, Европос, Номхон далай хүртэл аялахтаа олон нийтэд болон шавнартаа төрөл бүрийн сүнслэг сэтгүүдээр олон зуун лийх зөвшөөж ярилцсан өгсөн байдаг. Өнөөдөр бид тэдгээр ухаарал хайрласан лекцүүдийг нэг болох Францад 2013 оны 7 сарын 7-нд англи хэл дээр айлдсан. Бодол санаандаа эрэг байх нь хизээд хамгийн сайн лекцийн нэгдүгээр хэсгийг багш авийн шүтэлцээ нэвтрүүлгээр толиолох хувь тохиолоо. I'm trying to find out whether or not we, we have any of the connection like uh... I have tried to find before you ask me even yeah around here whether there is any connection with the food reorientation I haven't found it to find a, a spot is not that easy okay I have to concentrate for a long time and if I'm busy I can't always concentrate if I run from one room to another then I can't and then if I'm stare in the face with the light and camera or that I can't I can't forget it just so easy the mind we not i haven't found the um, nutrition reorientation yet there may be some uh, higher level with this kind but I, i haven't found one with a high level even if i found it somewhere else before it wasn't a high level because uh, that kind of thing doesn't need high level power yeah yes. just i didn't find it here and uh, if i found it i would try to come down to it But I cannot, okay? Wherever I go somewhere new, I try to find a connection. But it takes some time. Because if I live somewhere very long, then I know every corner already. But if it's a new place, even this one is new for me. One year already I haven't been here and I haven't tried to find it before. And uh, so now I try to find it. It's just not that easy, okay? And with busy-minded and not in retreat mood. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. Also, it's a new place. I have to concentrate very hard in order to find where is the connection. I mean, the connection is invisible, yeah? And it's so well guarded, so that even for me, if I want to find it, I have to concentrate. Especially when I want a specific thing, not just that anything. But uh, because I left that place already, uh, it's uh, about uh, 12 hours drive from here, if I want to go back there with dogs and all, and documents and all kind of things. When I travel, I need many things, not clothes, <laughs> just one or two pair maximum. But many things, because the dogs need a lot of things. The dog needs to be comfortable in the car because they have to sit on the back seat and we have to make the car comfortable and the seat enlarged so that all three of them can lay in each bed. And one bed is big, so three beds, and then their food and their medicine and Uh, medicine for, you know, uh, insects and all that stuff, yeah. all kind of things. Oh, and the sheets, many sheets so that we can change their bed sheets. Every week or every 10 days we change their bed sheets. Even if they're clean, we change. Even the dogs are clean to come in, but we change. And they have all kind of uh, things for dogs, you know, veggie bones. And because if we go new place, we don't know whether there are veggie bones over there easy to find or not. So every time go somewhere, it's, a, it's a, like a move in the whole house. And I have nothing. <laughs> Mostly one pair of wear and one pair extra, if I even can do that. Mostly just so busy taking care of the dogs, packing things for them. So I'm so busy that I hardly remember anything for myself. Maybe sometimes I forget toothbrush, <laughs> hairbrush, <laughs> things like that. <laughs> I go for days without, until we find where to buy. Now. Therefore, if you ask me about these things, uh, it's not that simple, okay? No, no, no. What I mean is I would do it if I could, because uh, in each and every corner of the, the earth, there are some different connections, some higher, some lower, and some for uh, peace, and some for love, and some for food reorientation, some for healing. They don't always stick together in one place. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. It's like that. 
inside that you found it, you know, spiritually. Yes, yes, of course. Because it was physical. Yeah, I have to find it inside first. <laughs> I have to look for it inside first, and then I know where it is, then I go there, okay? Even within my house, sometimes I hang on the ceiling. I can't hang on the ceiling, but I hang my hammock on the ceiling, and then I climb on it with the stair, <laughs> with, the, with the staircase, you know, steps or with the, the chair. And then sometimes I sit too long and I probably stop and then the chair fell down and I don't know how to get down. <laughs> and I have to call on the phone, please <laughs> help her. <laughs> but sometimes I lock the door. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to slowly slide, slide, and hang on the string, and then I finally got down. I survived. Yeah. Of course, when we arranged the connection in that place, at that time there was no toilet over there, no houses. <laughs> and many thousands of years later, a house sprung up right there, which is uh, very nice also because. Mostly in that house, there will be all kind of uh, connection already. <laughs> Truly like that, you know? Yeah, nobody would even understand it. Uh, just now I told you, but uh, I don't expect you to believe me. It's like that, yeah? And sometimes I had to sit in the middle of the swimming pool. <laughs> if there's such a house, there's a swimming pool. And if in the middle has it, then I would sit in the middle of it. Just like that. Anytime I find something, I just sit over there. And sometimes uh, it's outside in the garden with nothing at all. So I have to sit there or spring uh, 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 the tent right there and sit there. But if it's too high, then I can't do that. Then I have to find a way to do it, like hang a hammock, uh, try to find a way to hang a hammock. And the thing is, uh, now I'm telling you, but mostly I do it very discreetly. So. Now that I've done it already, I can tell you, I don't want to explain it. I want to keep it all inside. <laughs> I have to hide. Just say, I'm going to sleep, or don't come to the front door, or don't come to the front yard, or don't come to the side yard, or don't come to the caravan, thing like that, okay? And sometimes in the winter, it's very cold in the tent, huh? Oh my God, I wasn't intent to talk to you today. I thought, come on, <laughs> It's a natural thing, Isabella. I don't like to be forced, okay? Then I don't talk good. Just natural. Yeah, natural is better, no? Everything. You also don't like to be forced to do anything, right? Right. Mm. I want to tell you that I'm still looking for this uh, reorientation of things, of food, no? Mm -hmm. I couldn't find it yet. Okay, now, but there are some good news about vegetarian and vegan and all that. I have made a calculation this afternoon, and I found out that we have, I'm telling you, okay? Yes. Like, uh, we have 18% people of this world are vegan. 18, yeah? And 26,5% is a vegetarian. 5% are, you know, breatharian or branarian or solarian, all this group together, okay? Yes. And watarian together, okay? 5%. So. All together is 49,5% uh, we so-called non-meat eater. I told you yesterday, that's about 50%, remember? Yeah. And I was thinking maybe I'm wrong, so I calculate this afternoon. It's 49,5%, so more or less <laughs> 50, okay? Yes. Yeah. And then, on top of that, we have 16... Come three percent, the population are forced to be vegetarian or vegan because they don't have meat to eat. They're poor, even forced, but also help. Okay, yes. so all together we have with the reluctant vegetarian and yes. breatharian and vegan and all that, uh, waterian, uh, solarian, all together, is we have sixty-five comma eight percent of vegetarian. Any. We don't say vegan because it's all included inside, yeah? Vegan, vegetarian, breatharian, all that. So there's not too bad already. 65,8%. Yeah? And now? Now, on top of that, don't forget we have 19,5 billion of vegetarian animals. Of course, the wow animals. They're vegetarian, many of them. 19,5 billion. 
of vegetarian or including vegan. I just say vegetarian so that it's more general. So it's all together. We have like 155,9% vegetarian of the population of this world. Thanks to the animals that we are more balanced. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, uh, we uh, humans alone only 65,8%. Better than nothing. Yeah. It's a lot, no? Yeah. yeah. Told you. My whole world's changed, and I feel happier, and I feel really grateful and inspired. Because I love them and I care about them. Changed my life when I'm healthier. It actually benefits the entire planet. We now know that animal agriculture is the biggest contributor to climate change. So. They feel as we feel, and it's not good for the human soul and for the world for us to mistreat them. Shakyamuni Buddha, Jesus Christ, St. Francis of Assisi, Leonardo da Vinci, Shania Twain, Leo Tolstoy, Albert Einstein, Alicia Silverstone, Toby McGuire, Joaquin Phoenix, Pamela Anderson. What do these distinguished people of the past and present have in common? They represent the circle of vegetarian and vegan elite and some of the most gifted and accomplished people in the world. to all of us to speak up for the animals. They have no voice, and there are terribly, horrifically cruel things being done to them on a daily basis that are absolutely unnecessary, and that are also very bad for human health. I think we're at the cusp of a huge revolution in eating, and people are really starting to wake up to the cruelty in factory farming. If a deer ran out in the road when you're driving, you'd swerve to avoid it, right? because you don't want to hit the deer, but yet you would eat a cow. It, I think it really is fundamentally unnatural. We are vegan, as you would be if you went and saw what happens to animals when they are prepared for food. It is absolutely should be against the law. It's just the most heartbreaking thing in the world. So no one should be eating animals. Everyone should be saving and rescuing animals instead. And vegan food is delicious on top of that. I am vegan because it's the healthiest way to eat. So uh, I'm vegan. You should be too.
They are some of the countless noble examples of compassion and wisdom. So keep in good company with the noble circle of vegetarian and vegan elite. And the list goes on. Please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash VE for further club list and info. Be veg now and join the club. Okay, so it's a good news, no? Because the animals are 19,5 billion vegetarians, so we have 90,1% vegetarian animals. Therefore, we have all together, in humans, population, animals, population together is 155,9% vegetarian. Wow, yeah? Oh, no, why thank me? Just the fact is like that. What? <laughs> yeah, of course, I do what I can. Eh? I don't call meditation hard work. It's just <laughs> hard to get the result. You have to put up with everything else to get there too. Right? Yeah, of course, I have to put up with everything. How you know all that? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a price to pay. What to do? Uh, listen, so we are not too bad, okay? Yes. We're not in a bad shape at all. Even though there are people are still eat meat and all that, but they're only 34, comma some percent, huh? Yeah. I mean, the human. We are 65.8% already. That's more than 50%. Not like people are forced to be vegetarian, but they are in a situation that they probably just farmers and they don't have animals there, and they're poor, and so they just eat vegetable. And they just don't know anything else, that's all. They're just happy with it. So it's not like forced, it's just that maybe they don't have any idea how beneficial the vegetarian diet is. They say African people are very poor and all that, but I see they grow very big and tall and strong. And their teeth are so white like a neon lamp. <laughs> when they smile, you feel like your eyes have to cover a little bit. <laughs> so I don't know if poor people better or rich people better. And I see all the rich people go to hospital all the time. All the rich country have more hospital than any other poor country has. Don't you think so? Yeah. So anyway, all this conception has to change. Huh? The rich people have to know that having money doesn't mean you have to eat meat and to spoil yourself with cigarette and drug and alcohol and all that. These are not cool. They are cruel. Cruel to others, cruel to yourself. When you're drunk, you beat up all the relatives and the family member as well and beat up your body until you're sick and crippled and die in agony. So that's not cool. That's cruel, for example, like that. Benefits of alcohol bans. Stroke risk reduced by 50% by quitting smoking and restricting alcohol consumption, along with more exercise and higher fruit and vegetable intake. Researchers in Spain find that alcohol-free beer reduces cholesterol levels, along with other potential heart benefits, without any of the risks associated with alcohol consumption. Financial savings. A Canadian study estimates alcohol intervention programs could save 880 lives and 1 billion US dollars every year. Mortality. A 10% decline in vodka sales resulted in a significant decrease in alcohol-related deaths in Russia in one year. Exercising, drinking less alcohol, eating fruits and vegetables, and not smoking extends life expectancy by 14 years. Cancer. A World Cancer Research Fund study finds reducing meat and alcohol consumption decreases cancer risk. Other illnesses. The brain's regeneration and performance are increased once alcohol consumption ceases. Alcoholic hepatitis patients can gain complete recovery if the patient gives up alcohol and has a good diet. Bodybuilding.com states that bodybuilders who refrain from alcohol consumption experience benefits in terms of muscle gain, hydration, recovery, metabolism, and mental focus. Social implications. A New Zealand liquor ban resulted in 98% less liquor offenses as well as a reduction in other crimes. Research in New Mexico, USA shows that Sunday bans on alcohol sales resulted in fewer collisions and traffic casualties. Alcohol-related crimes dropped by 15% following an alcohol ban in Aberystwyth, UK. 
an alcohol ban becomes permanent on the jetty area of Coffs Harbour City, Australia, due to its success in reducing crime. Youth. In the U.S. state of Florida, raising the legal drinking age from 18 to 21 significantly reduced auto accident-related fatalities. A voluntary ban of alcohol sales to youth under 21 in the UK's Marsk village is made permanent as crime and antisocial behavior is reduced. An alcohol ban in US colleges helps overall alcohol abstention and reduces bouts of drunkenness and secondhand effects of drinking. Plus more. For more information, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash harms dash benefits dash flyer. So you are happy now, huh? Yes. <laughs> really good news. Good news, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Couple with all the uh, yesterday, you guys report that even UK government high officials uh, en- encourage people to be more vegetarian, huh? And Mr. Ban Ki Moon also tell people eat less meat, no? Remember? Yeah. Yes. And the UN, many high officials in United Nations also told people openly. They also encourage people everywhere. Just many people, they don't listen. Because they're spoiled with choice. Too much uh, uh, animal slaughtering, they have to buy it. If no meat, then nobody buy. No? Even rich or poor, they can't buy, then they can't buy. <laughs> so I think uh, if the government uh, shut all the slaughterhouse, then people will be vegetarian automatically. And people will find a way to invent more meatless food that tastes so nice. Nowadays, they make beautiful vegan cheese already, yeah? Mm, don't you think so? And in our loving hood, we make lovely vegan cheesecake. You know it, right? Yes. Are you allowed to go to loving hood to eat if you want? We love the I know, I know. But in daytime, sometimes I'm not there. Or I don't appear. Oh, I am always here. It's just that I'm not always go out to see you. It's a privilege to be here, Marcy. It's good. See us in your house. It's still a privilege for us to be in your presence. It's nicer to be here because you don't have much time. Absolutely. Yeah. You don't come here often, so yeah. you come here and uh, concentrate more on meditation, mm-hmm. that's all. If they tell you, come on retreat, don't hang out around, that is also correct. But that's normally when we have a limited time, like seven days, and you can't just come in, come out, you see? But yeah. this one, everybody come in and come out, so... It uh, should be all right, if you want to, okay? okay. If you want to. That is the, the first time. I think it's wonderful. Is it wonderful? Wonderful. Okay. The uh, first time this, the, that I come to retreat. Yeah? I didn't any idea about it before. You like it? Yes, of course. Okay, <laughs> then stay. I'm so mm. happy, Master. Thank you. Oh, yeah, me too. I'm happy. That's why I want everything perfect for you guys, because I love you so much. I know it's hard for you to come all this way. You have to arrange things, you have to take off work, and sometimes not easy, and you have children and husband and all that at home. And so, th- therefore, I want everything good for you, yeah? I'm happy that you're happy, okay? All of this, uh, you guys can take them, <laughs> one each, <laughs> if you can. <laughs> okay, I put it in the dining room, in the hall, and then mix with others, or later when they come out, they take some. Everybody take one or two only, okay? Yeah. It's not a lot. You're welcome. It's so dark, and if we throw it here, you will pick the pebbles. <laughs> you eat the pebble, and you will think, what kind of candies? <laughs> mm. yeah. yeah, you sit on the pebbles, and the candy is similar size. And it's so dark, if I throw the candy here, you pick the pebble instead. <laughs> It's not funny, it's the truth. <laughs> okay, now we meditate a little bit together, huh? Mm. It's always better when you are very positive in your mind. There were two persons initiate, mother and son. They live in Czech Republic. They opened one uh, Loving Hood restaurant. First it was in Loving Hood, and later it became Loving Hood, because it was vegetarian. And then later they opened another one. And then another one, and another one, and another two were coming. Uh, and everywhere they go, uh, everybody likes them and asks them to come to this mall and make another restaurant and go to this building, make another restaurant. The government even asked them to come make another lovely new restaurant for them. Everywhere asking them, they're too busy, they can't even do it all. 
always have to train new staff, new cooks. <laughs> and they don't have that many disciples in Czech, and only two of them, and they are conquering the whole country. <laughs> and she's always very positive, and she said, Oh, Master, we earn a lot of money every month, 50. And then so we save it and open another one, or save it to give it to poor people, whatever they do. Just a mother and son only, yeah? And now they have four restaurants, six are coming. And it's always positive. So everywhere they go, people like them and want them to open more. Just they couldn't. <laughs> Just too much job, too much work. Uh, but they're always very, very positive, and so that they are very successful. Because they're always positive. Whatever she say, wherever she go, and she always tell me things, always positive attitude. There's no wonder she's successful and people like her, like them. I have never heard her say something negative about anything, <laughs> especially business or practice, you know. It's always believe in master power, always, always believe things are good, and it's really good. <laughs> the government over there invite them to make more. And wherever they go, people looking at them like looking uh, saints coming or something, you know? Very admiring look. So this is a power of positive attitude, okay? Yes. Try to get that. Maybe you try to do too hard with covered and all expenses and make it all look glorious or something. No need, you have to be more simple. Eh? Make it simple first. Simple and easy on yourself and on others. So even if you don't make much business, you will not lose the business. Use common sense, huh? not just rely on master power and disciples. Even my house nearby, I also come and eat, you know, often, but it's not often I can because it's so far. Also, I don't go out that much. I try to meditate more at home, you see? Cause if I go out, it takes more time and collecting more karma. So I come back home, I have to clean around a little bit longer. But uh, otherwise, uh, you know, we open a vegetarian restaurant is to introduce this kind of vegan lifestyle to people, outside people who doesn't know vegan, yeah? yeah? So that they change their lifestyle, they help them help the planet, help the world. That is the right attitude, okay? Yes. Just a reminder. And has to cook good, no? Yeah. Don't just recite the five names, pray to master, and then give them what? <laughs> I told you it's good, believe it so. <laughs> and then it's going to be good. No, it's not. Even I don't eat uh, lousy food, yeah? <laughs> I'm easy, doesn't mean lousy, okay? I eat easy, I eat simple, doesn't mean lousy. I live simple, doesn't mean uh, dirty and filthy or, or untidy, you know? Simple doesn't mean dirty and messy, yeah? Okay? So if you come to my cave, you see it's very nice. Yeah, very tidy and just exactly all I need, that's it. No more, no less. And everything tidy. And the, the cave seems to have very big space. I feel more space in the two by two cave or wood house than in a big house. Because I feel everything is at my fingertips and not too many things. When you have a big house, you begin to accumulate things and you feel pressure, you know, what to do with them all. But also because you're alone. Because in the cave, you're on your own. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. So that's it. You feel safe in your, yeah, that, your space, no one to intrude. That's right, that's right. I make sure. I feel very safe in there. Very spacious. And here, such a big house, and I feel like I was in a coffin, I told you. Yes. I run from one room to another, like the <laughs> devil was chasing me. Oh, I was like suffocating, you know? And it's not the first time it happened, eh? Uh, over here in this house, since I came here this time, it happened three times. But uh, the last time was the worst one that I could not even control very well. The last two times I could control, I could bear. And then another time in London, oh, many other times. Sometimes like that, people just pray for nonsense and, and I feel suffocated. Sorry. Yeah, it's okay, love. Any, any uh, restless uh, situation that we because of some people think about us or something? Yeah, 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 that's it, that's it. Sometimes like that, yeah. Uh, possible, possible. Also, maybe because you eat something that is uh, too much um, exciting elements in there, like coffee, too much coffee, too much tea, and that is a different. But uh, this is different, yeah? Feel suffocating. Not just restless, but feel uh, close in, yeah? Uh, that's different. 
That's a uh, restless. It's different. I also have that, but that's not as worse as the suffocating in the coffin. Oh, it's terrible. I don't want to think about it. Oh God. Last time, uh, before this time, I had that feeling, and I had to run away from my house. I had to go in a hotel. They said to me, "Go in the hotel. Maybe it's bigger. <laughs> you like it better." It's not better at all, but at least it's right in front of the sea, you know? So that helps. Uh, same in London. When I had that feeling, I had to run. Oh, I run the whole city. I couldn't find anywhere that I feel uh, space. And then finally, uh, they said, oh, go to the riverside. And uh, it was very cold, and I had to run to the river, and it was so cold. Winter, eh? When I breathed in, it hurt my lung even. But I had to go to the river and run alongside the river. Now, after a while, it's better, but still, I need to get out of England. That was the feeling. I had to run, and my God, we had to run to the airport and catch the, the last flight, and we already booked the flight, everything okay, but then there's so, so much traffic, and I'm suffocating in the taxi as well. And then finally, I, I they couldn't catch that plane even because of taxi, because we were in a hurry and booked in the last minute. Very expensive and couldn't even get on it. Oh, it was a terrible time. I tell you, don't ever wish to be a master, okay? Really, it's not good luck. <laughs> okay, enough with all that. <laughs> You're not going to be master. I'm here already, no need. <laughs> so we just enjoy, eh? Mm. Good news from visitor and good news everywhere. Huh? Peace talk everywhere, yeah? And uh, many countries, uh, no, no more war, yeah? A little bit, here and there. зөрхтэй үзэгчтэй бодол санаандаа эрэг байх нь хизээд хамгийн сайнлын хэцийн нэгдүгээр хэсгийг багш шинж шүтэлцээ нэвтрүүлгээр хүлээн авч үзсэнд талархлаа. Үргэлжлүүлэн арин коран 23 дугаар бүлэг итгэгчдийг мэргэн сургаал нэвтрүүлгээр хүлээн авч үзнэ үү? Supreme Master телевизтэй хамт байгаарэ. Бид та бүхэнд амар амглан хайр эв найрамдлыг хүсье. Дэлгэрэнгүй мэдээллийг доор хайгаар авна www.suprememastertv.com ташуу зураас BMD